This is A game, fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. What's going on, YouTube? It's your man Ronan back with another one. And this five minute fire wash report is brought to you by A game. Helps with vitality, strength, focus, and libido. And some male over solution. You take one capsule every uh, three days. And it works for three to arguably four days. Trust me on this. Now, <clears throat> that being said, oh yeah, this this is from uh, shaving, so that's just what the fuck it is. So today's video is going to be dealing with uh, flying with the eagles. Now, if you're listening to the sound of my voice, you understand that some of us have been you know, some nature nerds. See, my thing back then was watching shows like the Discovery Channel, Animal Planet, National Geographic, uh, things of that nature. Just real into that stuff. Uh, aside from wanting to be a, me a meteorologist and then dealing with uh, astrology, or uh, astronomy, excuse me. Well, both. Um, <clears throat> what I loved about the nature shows is certain animals would speak to me as far as how they lived. And what stood out to me as to why I went to the Marine Corps is the main symbol you see out there is the EGA, the Eagle Globe and Anchor. All my Marines know this shit. But to the civilians, I'm going to break it down. When it came to the life of an eagle starts off a little rough. And of course, you know, they're being taken care of, you know, by a mama eagle, whatnot. Daddy eagle's out there fucking around, killing whatever he was killing. And it came to a certain point where the mother eagle will kick the eagle lead out of the nest. It was that time to get out of there. So the eagle had a choice. Fly or die. Now, in this space, kind of speaks to me and was to what I see, and two, why I chose to go to the Marine Corps. Number one, when it's time to kick these eaglets out the nest, most immediately will get pushed out that nest, kicking and screaming. And they'll get so desperate that on the way down, they will hug anything that they can. Sticks, the tree, rocks, before it goes splat on the ground. However, the other eaglets that happened to do what they needed to do scared. They was able to trust themselves and spread their wings. And eventually start getting that confidence to where they was out there taking flight and doing their thing. And became mature eagles. Learned to live life beyond the <clears throat> stuffy confines of the nest. Hence why I always say never allow your comfort zone to become your coffin. The other part is, aside from the other branches of service, which I do respect. The Eagle Globe and Anchor spoke to me in a, in a grand scale. Not the G.I. Joe speech that my recruiter was giving me because I, I felt that was bullshit. But what stood out to me was the starting with the anchor. It To me, it meant being grounded. Whenever you come to a port or when you had to stop, that anchor would keep you in place. Now, they, that deals with your principles. Your standards. Your perception of yourself. If you were rooted in who you are. And didn't give a fuck about anybody who felt some kind of way about it. That meant a lot to me. And then I admit many times over I got away from that. But I admit to myself too. I have to go back to those principles. If people feel some kind of way about what I say, what I do, what I put out. I'm going to drink a fifth of fuck it. 
That's what I encourage my peers to do. Now, keep a keen ear for people who speak life into you and are can be stern, but they're looking to sculpt you into a better leader. That's what you need your discernment, your foresight for. But when it comes to people who speak death into my vision or my dreams or your dreams or who you are, what you were meant to be. It's when you drink a fifth of fucking. Let them figure it out. They're going to be watching. You might as well give them a show while they're pissed off. But anyway, talk about the globe. I've always wanted to see parts of the world. I was never comfortable um, staying and rotting in the same place. Maybe that's because, you know, my father, the way, you know, his career path went, put that gypsy spirit in me. And having that opportunity to have my first duty station as Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Then coming back and being stationed out there at Camp Pendleton. Then going on float and seeing Korea, Thailand, Singapore, the Middle East, and a few points in between. That only helped me to not get a better sense and understanding and opportunity to learn of a bigger world than myself. But to learn more about myself. It fed that, started feeding that hunger of understanding like, not just where I was, but seeking my place to make a difference in this world in spite of it. However it wanted to treat me or view me. And then we get back to the eagle, which I'm going to close out with. See, Many people, they have their respective uh, animals that they're connected to. Um, some view as lions, others figure as wolves. Some people, you know, the spirit owl is my hummingbird or a thundercat, whatever the fuck it is. My thing was, I was more in tune with the eagle. <clears throat> and when I look at those nature shows, I stood in awe of seeing how cool that eagle was flying at a height that most people would suffocate in doing what they do they look so majestic doing their thing when they were taking care of their young just the proving ground where the eagle they had in question you know the, the one they were trying to holler at drop a stick you know symbolic to a, a leadership build of about are you able to take care of yours? Because we're gonna have we're talking about legacy. I know a lot of these goofies on talking about well, see, she got him jumping through hoops. No, fuck you. If he wasn't able to catch that stick, it was a waste of her fucking time. Just as she was vetting her, he needed to vet himself too. See the vetting process, you can't run from it. And in creating that family, you taught your young to, by your example, you teach them, look, I'm going to be stern with you, which now I have to be stern on myself. And I'm going to put you in a situation where you're going to get real uncomfortable and you're going to be scared, but you got to do something scared in order to get some shit done. So when it feels like you're being kicked out the nest, Embrace that time. It's on you to take flight. Trust your wings. Trust <coughs> the stock you came from. That goes into remember who you are. Why you're here and what the fuck you were meant to do. And once you start feeling the wind under your wings. And you really start learning how to take flight and adjust your course. Which is what I'm doing in real time. You're going to be a cold motherfucker. See certain people. Were meant to fly with you. See that's why. Chickens can cluck. And scratch. But when they look in the sky. They see an eagle. And they can't fuck with that. Two different birds. Two different paths. Like I said, you got to ask yourself, when's the last time you had an eagle sandwich? 
Or you can go right around the corner and go to Popeye's and have chicken all motherfucking day. With an ashy ass biscuit. And some good fries. But yeah. One choose one is majestic by design. One can produce eggs. Will no doubt become food. He's got a heart and mind of an eagle. Eagle sharp vision. That spoke to me about foresight. That's why I salute my fellow uh, Marines out here. That's what you're supposed to push to be. Now, if you're in other branches of the service, this this it, this does apply to you too. We gotta be razor sharp with our vision as men. Give the middle finger to these goofies who are trying to feed us content junk food. Things that does not help us. Things that don't want to help our appearance. Things that aren't dealing with the 10 life values or adjacent to it. Just waste of your time. And that's a road to death. And misery. So, again, like we'll be getting ready to head out. Understand who you are and what you are. Show no shame in it. And see, like I liken myself to these eagles, I may have bumped against a few cliffs, <laughs> hit a few trees, but I'm not ashamed to say I'm getting my wings up under me. Wait till you see my flight. It'll get to the point where certain people can't see me. And that's for good reason. Because when it comes to your vision, some people are creatively cockeyed for a reason. So if you feel the same way, if this, if you felt this for yourself, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section. Or at best, take it, take this message with you. Walk firmly into your future with a better version of yourself. Because I want to see my brothers succeed. I want us to be better. I want us to be at the top of the food chain. Rather than the bottom. And that's how the fuck you fly with the eagles. So with that, you already know, never allow your comfort zone to become your coffin. And uh, courage is a necessity. Simplify. Peace. This is A Game. Fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects.